Welcome to Gap Dynamics tutorial on how to create a customized review question in Articulate Storyline 2. As you can see, I have already typed out the review question and the choices. Also, I have formatted my question to the left. Once you have your choices on the slide, it is now time to create your feedback layers. As you can see, I have already created my feedback layers, A through D. B through D have already been done for us with animation and the X so that you can exit out once you're done with that feedback. We're now going to apply the same treatment to the choice A. First you're going to need to get your text box. So go to shape, draw it out as big or as small as you like. Just so that it's in line with the others you're going to go with 300 and 400. We're also going to go with an outline. We're going to now need to add our X. We're going to go with 48 and 32. We're going to make it just a little bit smaller. We're going to make it colored so that it matches. Once you have your text box and your X, you're now going to apply your trigger to your X. You're going to hide this layer when user clicks the multiply. You're also going to add in your text. And since A is going to be correct, we're going to type in correct. We're going to change the font to Arial and we're going to make it green. Now that you have your text box done, you're then going to insert a check mark. You can make it as big or as small as you like. Once you have it in the position that you want, I'm going to make it green. I'm then going to add a small animation. I'm going to go with zoom and 0.5. So that it's not interfering with the text, we're going to bring it to the back. We're going to move the text box down the timeline just a little so that you're able to see the animation. And that's all you have to do for your feedback layers. But again, the sky's the limit. You can customize it any way you like. Once you have your feedback layers done, you're going to go back to the base layer. And now you're going to add states to the buttons. So click A, states, edit states. At new state, we're going to go with hover, select it, and we're going to add two additional, wrong and correct. Now that they're all there, we're going to customize them. Click hover, format, and we're going to make this a filled in. We're going to click select it. And we're going to add a shadow. We're going to go with inside center. For wrong, we're going to make it red. And for correct, we're going to make it green. Once you have these all done, it's now time to pay attention to the font color. As you can see, some changed to white. So click hover, home, select black. And do the same for wrong and correct and then you're gonna hit done editing. Now you need to apply the same states to the rest of the buttons. But here's a quick tip. You're gonna select A, then click format painter and select B, C, and D. So now all of the buttons have the same states. Now that you have the states and the feedback layers done, now it's time to focus on the triggers, which are really important so that your review question can function properly. Also, please note that B through D has been done already. We're now going to apply the same triggers to A. So click A, add trigger. We're going to change the state of A to select it when user clicks A. We're going to create another trigger, change the state of B to normal when user clicks A. That way, if B was selected prior 
it'll revert back to its original state, which is normal. And now we're gonna do it for C and D. So change the state, C, to normal when you use it, click A. Change the state of D to normal when you use it, click A. Now that we have the button secure, we need to think about what's gonna happen after you hit the submit button. You wanna make sure that choice A, the layer, shows, and that A changes the state to correct. So, we're now going to go back to our trigger panel, add a trigger to show layer A, when user clicks submit, on the condition the shape A is equal to selected. And then you're gonna hit okay. And then you're gonna create another one, change the state of A to correct when user clicks the submit button on the condition that shape A is equal to selected. Now that you have all your triggers done and your states and your feedback layers, it's now time to test it. So go to preview, this slide, and let's see if what we did worked. Clicking B, C, D, and A, we're gonna hit submit. We're gonna exit out and do B. And as you can see, our review question is properly working. We wanna thank you for taking the time to watch this tutorial on how to customize your own review questions.